Hey, 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 what's happening, YouTube? It's me, Matt from A to Z Diecast here with the Roland Emergency Series Emergency Vehicle Series. New York City Police Department Emergency Services Unit. ESU. Now, if you've watched my other videos, I did order one of these from Rockbox Warehouse, Diecast Warehouse, and I actually got the chase, which is this, the auxiliary car. Did a video on that, but then I had to order this. Not from them, because they were sold out. So I ordered this. It's finally here. Ooh, someone's getting something done outside. If you hear that squeaking, I'm sorry. Um, so let's open this bad boy up, and then we'll compare it to the green light. NYPD Crown Vic. Now, truth be told, I'm sitting on this, on this for a couple couple days, maybe even almost a week, um, because work's been crazy. Very, very busy. Work, home, kids, weather. Good luck to all those uh, hit by the hurricane. Okay, so let's open this. Oh, I mean, I did this before, but I'll do it again. So, I didn't catch it or didn't say anything before. Red and blue, police lights, 5% chase unit, you know I got the chase already. So again, and police interceptor, New York, I mean it's a plain box, I mean it is what it is, and you know I don't keep my boxes. So I'm not sure who's the actual manufacturer. I think it's GCD, but it's, it's not labeled. If you're displaying it in the original box, it's actually pretty cool. You get the little, little um, placard back there. Put it back there. If you really want to, you can cut, trim the sides down a little bit and shove it in the box. But let's check this bad boy out. Okay. So... At first glance, I'm liking it. Of course I like it. ESU, 2038, got the light bar on the um, vector. I think I said that right last time. On top, pretty cool on the front. There's your police interceptor badge over there. There's your trunk. No opening hood. I don't remember if I talked about that with, with, the, with the chase. So, okay. So, let's oh, take this little M2 screw and open this bad boy. Take, not open, it's already open. Take this off. A little spacer, the screw. Again, I'm taking it off. We already showed it on this one, but I'm just gonna, it's going to be easier to compare to the green light. But again, I wanted to point out. Tires move. I think the green light moves better. But underneath, they painted that silver, but installed chrome tips. Me likey. Okay. Weight-wise, very light. I didn't talk about the other video. So let's first compare. Well, let's clean up this workspace a little bit. This out of the way, this out of the way. So here we have Roland green light. Green light, I've already said, is heavier. I grabbed one, just one, of the MIPDs. Um, not even sure if this is a the real one or something from um, like one of the TV shows that they did. I just grabbed the Crown Vic, so this is definitely heavier. The hood does open, but let's see. 
It's easier with a toothpick or something. It feels very jammed. I'm not gonna try and mess that up because I might snap this Harbor Freight. Um, it does have an opening hood with a motor inside. Lights are painted on. Lights are painted on. No decals on the bottom. This, I want to say this is from one of the TV shows, so I it may not be the best one, but they do ha did have multiple NYPD Crown Vicks, the four, um, the film reel one, which one of my biggest videos I ever watched. If you've watched it, thank you. If not, check out my videos. Search NYPD. It's in there. But also very small mirrors. But it does have the uh, traffic warning, traffic light, the yellow lights across the back, whatever the, the name of it is. So let's go to this one, the Roland. Um, I like the rims. It's got a push bar. Push bar is plastic or rubber-ish, so it does move. But it's actually got layers. You got the, the white metal, which is not, and then the rubber part, which would be on a push bar. Pretty cool. Actual, well, not real lights, but lights that are chrome and plastic and had to be pushed in where the green light, just a sticker. The grill is a grill. It's got texture. This is painted on. Real-ish lights on the back. You got the stickers, cop shot, PAL, all the stuff that's supposed to be there. Um, not being a cop, I couldn't tell you which is which. Which is better, real, more realistic. That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for, more realistic. But one thing I will tell you, interior-wise, you got the laptop in there. You got the, the cage in the back. Can you see it in that? I can't tell. But there you can see the cage 3D printed in there. You got laptop, steering wheel, seats, all that stuff in the rolling. Where this one, definitely no cage, no laptop. It's just the interior. Ooh, and they painted the third brake light. There's not even a third brake light on that one. Pluses and minuses. Listen. You guys, if, if you're a cop, you've driven them. I haven't. But did you really pay attention to all these different things? Well, you let me know. The windows on this are definitely larger. The decals, again, I, this might be one of the, the, the TV movie ones, so don't trust the decals on this one in my hand. I can't remember which one they are, um, so I just grabbed the first one. So it may be a little off. Um, this is cool. I, I mean, it's cool. I mean, would I like this light bar on this one? Yeah, because I know that, like, like visually, that's definitely wrong. That needs the, the yellow on the back over here, but it's pretty cool. So, um, there's also some minute details, like this trunk looks bigger than this one. Yeah, this one's a little wider, but this one looks deeper. These windows look bigger. Um, this has a better curve to it. Something that looks weird on that one, on the green light. Rims looks good here, rims look good here, but I think next to each other, I like this one better. So again, here is the Roland Collectibles. Here are the green lights. A little bit different blue here. Again, this could be, because here's the right decals. It's going to be the same decals on the NYPD on that one. This must have been one of the TV show ones. Could have been Quantico. Could have been, who else did they do? They did a couple. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure because 7554 was not one of the ones. The number I think it was like 3100 I think was the standard one that was on all the NYPD ones so again here's your rolling collectibles regular here's your chase here's your green light here's your auxiliary um, 
push bar, push bar on your, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? You should be here. That's better. Duh. Sorry, not fully functioning yet. And yes, I did have coffee. So if you're NYPD collector, these are new up for grabs. Find them on eBay. Find them in the secondary markets. Uh, because most places who pre-ordered them sold out. I was lucky to get the Chase. These are not Chase's green machine. The green light has green machines. Um, we'll either have the green car, green rims, green base, blah, blah, blah. All that fun stuff. So um, don't forget to like, subscribe. Leave some comments below. If you've driven these cars, if you mechanic and load these cars, let everybody know what's the difference. But don't hold it to me on this one because I can't remember off the top of my head. And I've got a ton of NYPD cars. This might this might have been one of the movie ones. So the decals, tampos, whatever you want to call them. Let's be easy on it because there's probably a whole bunch. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the rest of my other videos. Woo! Sorry. Check out the rest of my other videos. Peace.